my dear friends in the lord we are entering into a great mystery and that mystery is our lord jesus christ who came to this earth who died on the cross for the salvation of mankind by shedding his blood he died and he was buried but his life doesn't end there we you and i we rejoice because our lord jesus is risen and he is with us yes that's why we read the book of revelation chapter 1 verse 4 and 8 says i am jesus christ the faithful witness the first born of the dead who was who is and who is to come i am the alpha i am the omega says the lord the one who is yes that's why we read in revelation 1:18 jesus says the one who lives once i was dead but now i am alive forever and i hold keys to death and the nether world yes my dear friends our faith as christians today we can face any trials any situation because our god is risen from death and he is with us his story is not he was yes he was he died yes his life doesn't end with the death he is he is alpha he is omega and he is with us now he is risen from death he is alive yes he is with us in our struggle he is with us to face every situation he is with us wherever we go he is with us in everything we do that's why we never get afraid we never get worried situations will come problems will come people will come and go from our lives we don't care because we know the truth our savior jesus is risen and he is with us because he is with us we can face tomorrow that's why we have that beautiful song because he lives i can face tomorrow because he lives all my fear is gone because i know he holds my future and life is worth living just because he lives yes that's why we read in the book of first corinthians we read in chapter 15 it says if there is no resurrection of the dead then neither jesus risen and our preaching is empty and our faith is empty verse 8 verse 19 of first corinthians chapter 15 if for this life only we have hoped in christ we are the most pitiable people yes he must train until he puts all the enemies under his feet first corinthians 15:25 he is alive to be with us to fight against every powers of darkness he wants you and me to be alert to this secret this truth of resurrection he was dead he died he was buried but now he is alive with us and joining with him with his power with his glory we need to lead the whole dark world to the light to the power of resurrection a girl who came with white patches on her hand she told me father i had gone to the doctor and the doctor gave this oil the doctor is telling me to put it on her hands and the face wherever and i have tried nothing is happening to me we told look at jesus he is alive talk to him call upon him he is your father he is alive he has defeated the powers of darkness those evil that give sickness look unto him call upon him i can bless you my daughter but he is with you he is your god she was full of hope and went hardly 3 months she returned back her face was full of joy 
and though no more that white patches, I asked her daughter, why are you so happy? She said, Father, look at my face. Jesus is alive. You told me, our Lord is a living God. He is a risen Savior. He is. He is with us in all our struggle. He is with us in all our decisions. He is with us to bless us. And 1 Corinthians 15, 25 says, He is with us to join with us, to give us His power that we may destroy the powers of darkness that destroys the world. Yes, the one who is alert to this truth, Jesus is risen. He is the hope for the world. He is the hope who can bring life and salvation to the world. He is the one who will transform the world. And Jesus is celebrating with you and me this great Easter. If we receive him and if we receive this truth, if we walk with that risen Savior, we can make our life, not only our life, but the life of everyone meaningful. That's why we read in Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 5, when the women went to graveyard uh, looking for Jesus, the angels appeared. They said, Hello, madam, why are you looking at the living one among the dead? We look at Jesus. Who is this Jesus? How does he look like today? Yes, he was dead. We read in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 10 onwards, I was caught up in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet which said, write down on the scroll what you see. What did he see? I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands and in the midst of the lampstands, one like the son of man wearing the angle length rope with the gold shafts around his chest. The hair of his head was as white as white wool and as snow, and his eyes were like a fiery flame, and his feet were like polished brass, refined in a furnace, and his voice was like sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, a sharp two-edged sword came out of his mouth, and his face shone like the sun in the brightness. Yes, our God is alive. He is with us as a living savior to make you living. With the power to make our lives powerful. With the glory that you and I, though we are on this earth, we can live in glory because he is alive. The second point I like to make to you is when you move with love, you will meet him. John's Gospel, chapter 20, we read, The woman went to see the tomb, the dead Jesus. They did not find him. If you look for dead Jesus, you will not find him. Don't go on and look at Jesus as the one who is just dying on the cross. The truth is, he is alive. He is with us. He is sufficient for us. He walks before us. He goes before us to destroy the powers of darkness and give glory. So the women did not know that. So they saw the empty grave. They ran to the disciples. The disciples came. The so-called Peter, the leader, the so-called John, a loving disciple. They came and they went inside. They saw empty graveyard. They saw clothes kept up there. And they went back. If you come only for information, if your Christian living is because your parents are Christians or somebody is preaching you, you just believe in it, I feel very pity. Yes, the disciples came in information to see whether Jesus is dead or gone, whether his body is there or not. Then they went away. The woman went away. One woman Mary Magdalene stood there. When you have love, there is no fear. It is that lonely place, graveyard, but she is full of love for Jesus. When everybody who are supposed to stand with her to see Jesus, they went away. She went inside to look for Christ. And Jesus appeared and told her, called her by name, Mary. 
Hallelujah. 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 She saw before meeting Jesus, when she went, she saw the angels. And the angels said, Jesus is risen. Hallelujah. The disciples who came for information, they saw only the clothes. But the woman with the love, she saw the angels. And then later, she met the risen Savior. She received a great, great message to go and preach even to the apostles that Jesus is alive. And he is going before them to Galilee. My dear children of God, our God is a living God. Because he lives, we can face. Because he lives, we can bring heaven to this earth. Because he lives, we can proclaim. And we are called to proclaim Jesus is the Lord and Savior. And secondly, ask the Lord to create in you the hunger for him. Make yourself to have love for Jesus. With the love, you serve him. With your whole heart, you serve him. And you will definitely meet him. Because he is found to those who love. Those who know the truth that he is alive. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. The day in which we celebrate your resurrection. We celebrate your presence. We celebrate your glory with us. We celebrate our real identity. We are because you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can face everything because you have faced everything. And you are with us. And you go before us. Our journey is not an empty journey. It's not a lonely journey. It is a glorious journey. Because the glorious Savior, you are with us. Thank you, Lord. Make us men and women of love like Mary Magdalene. Not only for the information we follow you, but to see you, to be with you, to love you, and to serve you. You went to Peter and said, the one who ran away from you, my son, do you love me? Take care of my sheep. Help us, Lord, to love you that we may take care of what you have left and we will continue your mission. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory and honor to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus, mighty name, we bless you, Father. We wish all of you happy Easter. May the risen Jesus and his power and glory lead you and make you light for this dark world. Amen. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.